Georgia Whitehead couldn't find a well-paying job in Tasmania, so she started looking to the mainland. I couldn't really get anything else aside from other customer service jobs, whether it was waitressing or things like McDonald's. And it wasn't until I moved to Victoria that I was able to get a job. Young people relocating interstate for work or study is a familiar story in Tasmania. And new research shows they are better off leaving for the mainland. And what I found was that those that left tended to be more highly educated, employed in more higher skilled jobs, uh, more likely to be participating in um, other further education and training, and also uh, better utilised in the labour market. Dr Denny says it's contributing to Tasmania's ageing population and workforce gaps. Some people might say that Tasmania has educated the future workforce for other states. Georgia moved back to Burnie last year, after a couple of years gaining experience in Victoria. She quickly got a good job in accounts and administration, but she doesn't think Tasmanians should have to move away to start a career. The Tasmanian government plans to finalise its youth job strategy in the first half of the year. It aims to support young people into work, education and training within the state. We really need to have a very strong career education policy for school... For for school-aged students, but as well as the community, to know where the jobs are going to be and what young people and people need to do in order to be able to pursue those career opportunities. Just don't into it. Some who leave don't end up bringing their skills and experience back home. Harry Gunasilan left Hobart for Melbourne in 2016 to study to become a prosthetist. During my time, if you wanted a big, um, an OT or a physio or you know, work in prosthetics, more likely to move to Melbourne where there's those courses available. When he finished university, he found a job in Queensland. At the time when I graduated, there was no opportunities in Tasmania. So there was opportunities in different states around Australia and Brisbane, uh, for me, was the most attractive of them. He hopes one day he can return to Tasmania. Ashley Barraclough, ABC News.